Hey guys, Anatoly here from Define Agile and today I want to introduce you my new playlist which is called Jira Tutorials. Lots of people charge enormous amount of money for others to learn Jira. I want to give you those tutorials for free. So those will be a short tutorial that will be very frequent. You can look at them, you can reference back to them and you can learn different sides of Jira. We'll start very basic and then we'll go more advanced. So this is the first one, we're going to look at Jira UI and see uh, how it really goes. This will be a very technical tutorial, no chit chat, just do stuff, uh, yeah. So hope you enjoy it, please let me know in the comments below if you like it or not. Also subscribe to this channel so you can be informed where the new tutorials are coming. If you're really into Jira, this will be an amazing resource for you. Without further ado, here's the first one. We're looking at uh, new Jira UI and seeing where things are at. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the new Jira. If you haven't seen it, please update it. Update your Jira to this one because at some point I think we'll update you anyway. So please update now so you are aware of and you can follow with what I'm doing here. We have the main menu, which is uh, like a really global menu. You have all your global elements. And then there is more contextual menu usually appears here. So uh, this, is the main, uh, this is the main page. You can go to this page by clicking on this Jira logo. Every time you click on it, you go to the Jira. It shows you system dashboards. You can create your own dashboards. We'll go through that in another lesson. Uh, so please subscribe so you know uh, where those, when those lessons are coming. We'll definitely create a ROM dashboard soon and we're gonna go for that at a later date. So we're just gonna go through a uh, outer menu first. Then you have a start and recent, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can click on it and then it will show you the recent things you clicked on. It also will uh, show you anything to start. So you can start, start your projects like that and then uh, they will appear in the start category. So if you wanna find something quickly that you recently used, this is a good one. Just click on it and you'll find it. The next one is uh, one of the basic ones. One of the really cool ones is search. You can search for anything. You can search for issues. You can search for projects. You can search for boards. So this is a really global search and it's very easy for you to find stuff. So if you know a ticket number, you can do it easily. Just put it in here and stuff like that. So very, very useful. I use it all the time. The next one, it's an interesting one. I'm not 100% sure what's in the outer menu, but uh, before it was up top, now it's right here. It's creating your issues. So based on the project you are, you can create an issue by clicking here. And yeah, there's a create your issue. You can select your project if you want different project, but uh, before it was just plus on top, now it's global plus. So remember that, very important one. So if you wanna create an issue from scratch, you just click this plus here. And then we will go for this panel of how to create issues later on as well. So please stay tuned. Next one is notifications. If somebody tag you somewhere or assign you something, it will appear here. So this is a good one you'll see your notifications here. The other one is there are different Atlassian products like Confluence, you can switch on that if you start with a wiki, you go to administration of the whole site here as well, very important, then you can go to home. So then you can, I think you can edit it and put more stuff here. So this navigation, yes, you can add a bunch of stuff here so it's easy for you to navigate. If something is important for you like workflows or something like that, I'm pretty sure you can put it here and just easy access it. The other one is uh, Jira help. So our Atlassian help, you can find all the Atlassian documentation. They have really good community, ask questions, they'll answer it. And then a bunch of stuff is here in terms of service, privacy policy. I'm sure you, uh, this is the first thing you'll read right now when you, when you download Jira as uh, everyone does. So please uh, do it or about Jira. So here, if you need any documentation, click here, it'll be easily, you can easily find it. And then the last one is your profile. So you can change your profile, your name, your avatar. I don't have avatar yet because it's a new installation of uh, Jira. You can see my email here. I don't want to hide it. If you have any questions, please use this email, shoot me an email, let's talk. 
I'm very up for any communication with you guys as much as you need it. So uh, yeah, you can add your avatar, you can add your basic information, stuff like that. Everything can be done in here. Let's go back to our main menu really quickly, if we can. All right, uh, let's go through this really quickly as well. So dashboards, self-explanatory, all the dashboards, projects. If you want to find a project, this is a good one to go to. If you want to create a project, very important, there's a button here, you can create a project from this menu as well. Issues and filters, so there are a bunch of things. You can find your open issues, reported issues, so it's sort of for you to see what was updated recently, what was open, what was done. So if you have a bunch of issues, this is easy thing to globally see across all the projects what's happening. And then Jira settings, so a whole bunch of settings. We'll probably have a separate, um, core, a separate lesson for those uh, settings as well. So you know what all they mean, but for now, you know that settings are here. So it was very quick and short. Please subscribe to this because I'm planning to release uh, them almost every day now. So if you want to really learn Jira, this will be a short video that will give you an insight of their UI and how stuff works. So hope I bring you value. If you have any questions, put them in a comment down below or email me. I'm here for you and uh, yeah, I wish you a great day guys and see you soon.